One of the neat things about growing up in magic in Winnipeg is that I got a chance to see a lot of the great old magicians. Uh, never Houdini, I'm not that old, but people like Arvo Roberts that performed at the Beacon Theatre. Uh, young magicians like James Seelan that performs the cruise ships. And one of the things in watching magic as an older person is that you realize it's wondrous. That when you're young, you look up at magic and everything is magical. I saw Ivor Roberts do a magic show about 40 years ago. It was called The Chinese Sticks. It involved two, what apparently were pipes, and each one had a tassel on it. Now, as I watched him as a young person, I almost immediately had a theory, which was that they were probably connected in one way or another. At that point, the magic started because Ivor crossed the sticks and continued to do the effect. Even then, I had a theory about how the magic worked. And as I watched Ivor, the magic continued. And they were connected, and Ivor went on to do an amazing thing. He pulled both of them long and then connected them with a hair. Now, thank you. I never did that magic trick because when, when a magician is associated with it, other magicians don't usually do the same trick. But after I ever passed away, I bought a set of these sticks that were very much like the ones that he had. And I continued to do the trick, probably not as well as he did, but I could do some of the basic moves. And then one day when I was performing at the West End Cultural Center, the bad side of magic happened. Suddenly, I was tugging on one of the tassels, and all of a sudden, the, the short cord wouldn't pull. And I had to deal with the magic in the best way that I could. So I was really left with the short end of the stick. And remembering the idea that Ivor always presented was that the show must go on. When you're in front of an audience, he told about performing at the Beacon when it was 40 below outside and it was 20 below in the back of the theater that you become very adaptive and you learn to try to do the magic. So as I carried on with the trick, the other one jammed up and I was stuck with this applause cue. This is an applause cue. Thank you. But I was also left with Ivor's admonition that the show must go on. Whether you're dealt a long or a short hand, or even if you're in an impossible situation, you have to carry on and perform. And you can, you can even do the move that he does. My hair has gotten a lot grayer and longer, but you can, if you believe in the principle of the frog hair, do that. Thank you very much.